Welcome back to the lecture of Ansible and I am Praveen, a DevOps engineer. We have been working on Ansible a configuration, integration and orchestration tool since now. We had worked with various kind of Ansible playbooks. We worked with roles, we worked with modules, we worked with a certain use case. We also worked with Ansible command line usage. We started installing Ansible from scratch and developing in a kind of test environment in our Hureka servers. So we are at the end of the class and the, the, the module 9. Um, we were trying to start to integrate Ansible and uh, AWS. Uh, it's a part of overview. Um, I'm not going to explain in detail because uh, this is requires an advanced Ansible structures where you can just need to uh, you know, go through uh, level 2 course of uh, Ansible from Hureka. So to start on with, uh, what we are going to do now is we, know we are going to create IAM users in AWS. <coughs> So since I have been using AWS for my Ansible infrastructure, so what we can do is just directly go here uh, in my you know, you know Ansible infrastructure here and go to IAM, IAM. I go to uh, IAM users uh, here and uh, try to create one user. I am just going to show you how do uh, Ansible communicate with AWS infrastructure. That's it. So nothing much you can expect from this course. I, I am not try, trying to install any kind of uh, virtual machines using Ansible through AWS. I'm going to start uh, clicking on users and uh, create a new user. So that user will be uh, RHEL user. So uh, I don't want to generate access key now. Just create the user. The moment of creating the user, I click on this RHL user. I need to assign a permission. So just follow with very fast because um, you know this is a critical part. I'm going to put administrative access. I'm going to put up API Amazon API ad gateway administrator access, and I'm going to just put on full access of EC2. So attach the policies. So these policies are attached. Um, the moment I attach, I need to create an access key. I created an access key here. Show the user credentials. Copy this access key because these access keys are really required for us to integrate with AWS from Ansible. So I have the access keys ready. Done. So this is the step one is done. So import the AWS access keys to demonstrate in Ansible. We did that. Installation of AWS CLI on all client servers. I want to install AWS CLI on all client servers. I just go to my master machine here. And I just uh, use a command called... Uh, Ansible um, all hyphen M. So I need to just see uh, any kind of AWS it's installed or not. So M P package equal to AWS hyphen CLI star or maybe CLI star state equal to latest. I'm gonna see missing host, host target. So hyphen A. It's gonna try installing uh, AWS CLI or trying to find it's available or not updated. It's not available. Um, okay. So AWS CLI is not available. Maybe like we need to uh, install it from outside. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use hyphen S to perform root operation. Okay, for AWS CLI, we require a certain module and uh, we can just take it later. Um, so the, the thing is like I want to show you how, how you guys are going to communicate from AWS to uh, an Ansible. So the next step, what we're going to try now is uh, we are going to uh, install JIT and copy the JIT repository. So um, as the slideshow says, uh, installation of AWS CLI on client servers is necessary only if you want try to you know do something from AWS in command line. But now I'm trying, you know, trying to uh, install Python Boto packages and trying to get the packages from GitHub. So um, we already have a cre created a security group. We let's let us go and create one security group with Ansible. Uh, what I'm going to do now is um, I go through services. I go to uh, I go to security groups, isn't it? So I just go to EC2. Mm. I need to create security groups. Let it open. It takes some time because it's a little, little lot uh, slow and i'm going to security groups i have created the security group earlier lamp with inbound capability of http ssh and https accessible from everywhere okay so i have created s3 bucket we can just go through uh, services go through storage and content delivery click on s3 let me create an s3 bucket because it, that is a storage where we are going to put up api files i'm going to create an s3 bucket go create a bucket and it should be a unique name so what will be the unique name just like f q w e d bucket if you that's a unique name just create the bucket and keep it ready this F f3 bucket is actually uh, accessible go to the properties here and uh, we're going to get an object uh, link 
where we can just able to uh, send that link to anyone and get the data transferred this is static website hosting we can send this link okay so we are having a logging facility everything we can start the website and send this link to anyone to put on the data so the things which we are done now is uh, okay this one is already completed last session um, we created IAM users and provide appropriate privileges. We imported the AWS access keys to demonstrate in Ansible. We tried to install AWS CLI, but it requires Ansible uh, uh, AWS repositories that takes a lot of time to create. Maybe like uh, um, we need to just uh, understand how it is going to work. And uh, we try to assign administrator access and uh, we will install Python Boto package before installing. We're going to, uh, you know, create security group. We did create a security group. We created the bucket. We are going to pull repositories from GitHub. So the repository says I'm going to pull this GitHub repository. What I'm going to do now is I go to my master server. I check whether JIT is installed. I can see JIT is installed. If it's not installed, please install JIT. Okay. I'm going to just use JIT clone. I'll just check my present working directory. And I'm going to use... I'll create a new directory called AWS. I'm going to go to... Oh, AWS already exists. I'll put AWS underscore one. I go to AWS underscore one and I'm going to use, uh, I, I should create a directory, right? MK dir hyphen P AWS underscore one. I go to AWS underscore one and uh, JIT clone paste it. I'm going to just clone everything from AWS. I think I'm going to use a uh, Python boto now. I'm going to copy the Python boto package as well. Um, the Python code boto configure boto so for that uh, we are going to use uh, python boto package this is the command to get the python boto which cause python boto is the thing which we can communicate ansible to git okay i'm going to clone python boto as well from jit okay once i did that i can see ansible aws uh, ec2 on boto is available as of now on the my desktop i go to uh, you know um, etc ansible boto and uh, move my uh, directory from uh, <coughs> The boto's file to this particular file mm, okay so uh, what i'm going to try to do now is um, i have installed ansible i have uh, i need to copy this uh, file into etc ansible directory what i do is uh, in ET i go to etc ansible directory and i'm going to copy this particular uh, file a home test to my home directory so uh, I, I did copy the file and uh, you know everything is uh, available right now i did copy and uh, I have I need to configure Boto. We did configure Boto. So for a better understanding, there are a lot of uh, you know stuff which I have done at the back end, and uh, we can just do it uh, uh, you know easily. And I have communicated to uh, Ansible using Boto package. Please go through uh, Boto directory or um, etc Ansible etc Ansible. And uh, okay, I'm gonna just use uh, test and go to AWS underscore one AWS underscore one and I'm having Ansible provision so this is the one CD etc and Sable I'm just going to copy uh, this copy iPhone PR copy this paste this and EC2 dot star permission and I do sudo I did copy that and I need to configure boat, you know, boat to export the keys uh, to uh, secure uh, stuff. So I'm going to use uh, export Ansible host to this particular uh, file, Ansible host to this particular file, Ansible uh, CFG. I'm going to export Ansible uh, host that particular file. I'm going to export um, the keys, secret access keys, which we taken um, some time back. I'm going to uh, have pasted those keys here. I'm going to just use those keys secret access key i have this key paste it here export secret access key is done export aws access key id should be done to communicate with aws network and uh, do the work accordingly just put export we did the export and uh, I'm just checking the videos 15 minutes okay so what i do is like export i can see all the all my export has been done here with the key along with that of an uh, ansible host so uh we we did that and uh, we installed the boto package as well so um okay cd ansible boto uh, cd ansible etc boto so cd etc ansible cd etc ansible boto 
so we need to create a package for ansible so um, once we are done with and i have the following uh, steps which we can you guys can follow out with these other steps which uh, you know we, we will be following out to set up a kind of ansible to in, you know aws integration so when you guys follow up this particular steps then um, um, we can just try to communicate from Ansible to uh, AWS so that the best uh, advice is just to uh, make sure that you guys are uh, um, clear in uh, particular steps and uh, um, follow these steps try to communicate with AWS to Ansible the overview of uh, what it is like is uh, we need to create an um, um, IAM accounts we need to create an IAM accounts and uh, once we create an IAM accounts, each user will have the access key and we need to deport the you know import those access keys into my uh, ansible machines here and once we import the ansible machines we need to uh, go to the python uh, uh, boto so just uh, type uh, python boto um, python boto packages um, python boto documentation try to install the same uh, stuff here go to python interface to amazon web services and uh, install uh, ec2 cloud and uh, currently shared services go to compute currently shared services here follow the steps and uh, you can just uh, try launching an instance via um, um, using python boto so what are the steps required as i shown here first we need to install ansible i'll just write it again install ansible install ansible install python boto install aws cli on client servers um, try to set up the aws keys uh, secret keys and access keys access and secret keys set up yes three buckets for data transfer set up um set up security keys so uh if you if you if you if you all want to understand how to uh communicate how to uh how ansible communi communicates with uh aws ci and cd please make sure that uh, there will be a project with azure Eka and uh, try to uh, you know learn from the project there it has a clear cut you know steps and definitions once uh, you try uh, all the modules so make sure that you go through modules from module 1 to module 8 before trying to integrate with um, amazon web services and ansible so integrating aws with ansible i am praveen and thank you for listening listening to this ansible course from module 1 to module 9 and uh, glad to inform that i work with azure Eka. thank you all so let me know if you guys have any questions and uh, any doubts thank you once again so in a nutshell we have just uh, did try to install ansible try to work on with ansible um, from scratch we, we build a servers we try to inf you know install uh, ansible from scratch build a servers build a test environment we learned on playbooks we learned on modules we learned on roles we learned on ansible command line usage we learned a particular use case where we can deploy you know websites at different nodes at part of the maintenance and uh, we try to learn on aws overview how the overview of aws can be used to connect from ansible to uh, the aws network so you can always contact ejureka for uh, you know any case of help and um, uh, deployment uh, issues we, uh, we all have a lab setup done and uh, follow up the questions and answers module as well thank you so much